What's up, Tired Mamas? It's Rachel here with The Cradle Coach, and the question is to cry or not to cry? Sleep training for toddlers. All right, moms, you finally did it. You finally come up with a plan, and you are ready to sleep train your toddler. And now the question is, do I leave them to cry, or is there something else I can do? And the answer to that question is you can do whatever you feel comfortable doing. At the end of the day, if you are not comfortable with the plan that you create, you are not going to be able to stay consistent to it. And when it comes to sleep training, consistency is going to be key. When it comes to crying, remember, this is how your child is expressing their thoughts. They're, commu they're communicating with you. That is how they're telling you, no, I'm not looking for this. I want that other thing I'm used to sleeping with. We have to anticipate that there will be tears. How we work through those tears is kind of what creates a sleep training process. Now, of course, is there an option to shut the door, not go in, let your child cry? Absolutely, that's a sleep training method. But there are many methods out there that you can use that allow you to be there to comfort your child as much as you feel comfortable. So crying, while it may still be a part of the sleep training process, doesn't have to be this stressful, exhausting, all-encompassing thought of am I doing damage to my child, which is what we get asked all the time. You're not but I still want you to do something that you are comfortable following through with that matches your parenting philosophy. So come up with a plan that allows you to be firm in what the end result is, having your child sleep on their own, while doing it in a way that you know you're comfortable. And even though your child may be crying, maybe you choose a process that allows you to be there with them through that. So they know that you're there to comfort them, but not to the point of sleep. So I always say you can do anything in the world to get your child to sleep, but allow them to fully fall asleep on their own. So whatever it is that you're doing, pull it away before they're fully sleeping. From there, pull it away a little bit more. Put them down and stay there for a minute and leave. From there, pull away even more. So start to really decrease and eliminate whatever it is that you feel is comfortable for you to get your child to sleep. Now, of course, at the end of the day, we can create a custom plan for you and work with your parenting philosophies in addition to working with your child's personality and what might be best for them. So reach out to us at www.thecradlecoach.com and don't forget to subscribe below for more sleep tips like this. Sweet dreams.